What is enough when it comes to success? A Nobel Prize? We all know this guy, Albert Einstein. But I guess what I don't think many of you know is that he made a confession in his final days, a confession to one of his best friends. And it went something along the lines of like this. Um, I feel very ill at ease with the exaggerated esteem in which my life's achievements are held. I'm compelled to think of myself as an involuntary swindler. Yeah. So this is the guy who revolutionized physics and won a Nobel Prize for it. This is the guy, you know, many of us believe was the smartest man to have walked the earth. For some reason, he felt like he'd pulled the wool over everyone's eyes. For some reason, the reason I believe is that he's actually suffering from imposter syndrome. So imposter syndrome is a disease of the competent. Sufferers find it difficult to accept their own achievements. Imposter syndrome is not uncommon. So in Stanford University, every year, there's a professor, and she asks all of the incoming students, who here feels like they're the one mistake that the admissions committee made? <laughs> and every year, two-thirds of the students raise their hands. So as I said, it's not uncommon, and researchers think it affects around 70% of the population. So who here feels like they're an imposter? Or when in a moment? Oh, it's quite a big response. Um, and I guess, can you be an imposter and successful? So for much of my career, I've felt like a fish out of water. I, um, in, in my mind, what I saw as successful when I was young were all the trappings of being a high-powered businessman. I wanted to be strong, powerful, and confident. And so I thought the means to that was through money, wealth, and status. So where did I look to? I went into private equity. I went into investments. And I thought that as soon as I'd get there, that I'd be fulfilled. But when I arrived at my destination, I didn't find fulfillment. All I found was emptiness. It was all just a mirage. And when I shared this feeling with my colleagues, uh, no one got it. You know, they just all thought that I was crazy. So uh, my emptiness was compounded by my loneliness. And I actually broke down. It affected my relationships. It affected my friendships. It affected my family life. Um, but that, that moment was a real turning point for me. Because in that moment, I grew the courage to go and search out an alternate way. And the thing that I stumbled across in my search was something called impact <coughs> investing. So I'm happy to say now that I've left that old world of finance where I was surrounded by people who didn't share my values. And I, I now work with a group, my tribe, who do share my values. So as impact investors, what we do is we look for financial returns, but we also look for how we can make the world a better place for people and our planet together. Um, I believe that our planet is exhausted. The haves are full but unfulfilled, and the have-nots go hungry and are unheard. Is this what success is meant to look like? I believe we need to rethink our concept of success for our planet, and I think we need to start with ourselves. And it's really hard, you know, it means getting vulnerable. It means taking risks. When I started in my new job, I thought that everything would just be fine. But when I arrived there, I'd actually found that I created a new imposter mask for myself. I thought that these people, my people, um, would somehow realize that they'd hired the wrong guy, that I wasn't as capable and competent and proficient as they first thought. And this thought absolutely terrified me. I spoke to my coach, and he diagnosed me with imposter syndrome. Um, and do you know what the cure was? Vulnerability. And that was even more terrifying. He said that I had to actually expose all the things that I was trying to hide from people. So my fears, my anxieties, and my shame. 
So I fought against it very hard, and it just got worse. This feeling became overwhelming. And so one day I decided that I was going to confront my inner imposter. And as he predicted, I became vulnerable, I revealed my fears, and my mask started to dissolve. And in that moment as well, my concept of success completely changed. So as I said, I believe that our planet needs to rethink our concept of what success means. So I want you all to imagine what your life would look like if you pursued your dreams beyond material wealth and status, if you faced your fears, if you removed your mask and got vulnerable. Because I believe that if you make that choice, that you'll change your world. Thank you. Yeah.